Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be customizing these elves that I found at the Dollar Tree. They were just one buck and that's a price I couldn't pass up. So I got two of these so I can show you how to customize a girl and a boy elf. Um, so when customizing your elves you want to choose a heat transfer vinyl such as Caesar Easy Weed or Caesar Glitter. Um, Today, I decided I wanted to use Caesar Brick. So if you're not familiar with Brick, Brick is a thicker heat transfer vinyl that stands out. And I wanted my elves to stand out, so I went ahead and chose the Brick. And I went ahead and sent that to my cutter and cut my designs out. Um, so whenever you go to cut your names for your elves, you just want to make sure you measure this area on his chest here to make sure you're getting the right size. So I took my mat, which is, I'm using a silhouette. You may have a Cricut at home, but if you have a silhouette, one of the great things is their mat is clear. So all I had to do was lay my mat over my elf to see that I needed to make my name a one by two square area. So I can use my grid on my mat to measure what size I need to make my name in my design space. So I'm going to put a name on his chest and then I decided I was going to put a date on his feet. So with his feet, that's just about a one by one square. So when writing out your font in your design space, you want to resize that font to fit within one square grid of your mat. Alright, so I went ahead and sent these to the cutter and got them cut out. All I need to do now is weed away my excess vinyl. Uh, and since I'm using brick, I went ahead and taped my vinyl down because brick is so thick that it tends to shift a little bit on the mat and I didn't want to take the chance of ruining my cuts. So if you're using Caesar brick like we're doing today, it's on a static backing. So once you peel it up, uh, it won't have much of a sticky surface. It's mostly held on there by static. Uh, which is a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. If you pull up the wrong uh, cavity on your cuts, it won't stick back down as easily as if you were using Easy Weed. So you got to be nice and careful when weeding away to make sure you're not pulling up anything you don't want to pull up. Now that you've weeded away all of your vinyl, figure out where we want the alignment of our letters to go on our elf, and then grab our Teflon sheet and apply it right over our elf to protect our iron and to protect our fabric from getting any kind of residue that may be left on your um, iron or on your press. Um, once that's on there, we just want to make sure this is preheated to the cotton linen settings, and then we're going to press on our vinyl. So we want to put a good firm pressure on here and press it for about 15 seconds to make sure that we're getting a good bond. Once we've pressed it for 15 seconds, we will then peel back a little corner to just do a, a, a spot check and make sure everything's bonded correctly and if not, we can just go right over it once more to make sure we have a good application. And there you have it. That was so simple and all we had to do was use up some of those leftover pieces of scraps that are just hanging around in your art bins. So you can even go a step further and continue to decorate your elf if you wanted. Like for instance, I cut out a snowflake and I thought that would be a cute little design to put right there on his hat. So I'm going to go ahead and press that on. And then if you wanted to put the date on your elf, on his foot, you could certainly do that as well. So once again, just cover your elf with your Teflon sheet, grab your home iron, your easy press, or your hair straightener, uh, whatever you have on hand and available to use, uh, and then give it a good press for 15 seconds. And then when we uncover, just be careful to do a little spot check just to make sure we're all good. And if you see little corners that may have started to peel off, that's an indicator that you just need to repress those for a couple more seconds. 
So here I see a small spot that might not have had as good of pressure on it that it might have got missed. So I'm just going to do a touch up spot right there. And there we have it. So we've got our little elf that's been customized and decorated. Now I'm just ready to stick this in someone's stocking and call it a day. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see what Christmas projects you're working on. This is a nice, quick and easy craft that you can do. You could even do it with some kiddos if you had some hanging around. I typically see people selling these for about $6 a, an elf after they've been customized. And with our cost being a dollar for our elf and then a couple some spare change for a little bit of that vinyl, that's a really good markup. So if you're doing this for your family, if you're doing it to sale, whatever it may be, this is a great craft for you to try out today.